Good morning and welcome to the one a day dose letter N. Today is going to be a special day because we begin to use up our Facebook page by the name TSG. We tested it with the streaming services before and now we are good. We can post there. On today's episode of one a day daily dose letter N, we're going to talk about a new COVID vaccine called Novavax. And the full name is NVX-CoV 2373. We're going to talk about how it's made, where it's made, what it's about, and how come it's different from the other vaccines in the market. The interesting thing is, this might just work out. Also, on, this, on the following letter and the inspirational letter and we're going to talk about national values and the new normal. Let's begin. Now, Novavax is a small company in Maryland. Um, they've received a big boost from the government to develop their vaccine. They have their other vaccines ahead of it, but Novavax has a unique selling proposition. It has a very promising vaccine agent against COVID-19 and it's protein based. Unlike the, the Sputnik 5, that is the gum, uh, gum COVID vac, which is the Russian version, which is made from adenovirus and the others which are made from uh, coronavirus DNA, Novavax chose a different route and their, their, antivir- uh, their antiviral vaccine is made out of protein. And the most interesting thing is that the proteins are grown using moths. And I'll give you the articles to read for yourself in the description below. But this is the vaccine to watch for because it's new, differently designed and looking promising. They did a a simple test of 56 users and they all got treated without side effects. It's a two dose vaccine and I leave the rest for you to read. Novavax, keep an eye on it, letter N. Today, we also wanted to mention, I want to mention about national values. Uh, We've had a week where we've talked about COVID millionaires and billionaires and and, and, and the theft of uh, donations for this period. And the only way we can beat COVID-19 and the corruption thereof is to remember our national values and also talk about the expectations of our leaders. What do we expect from them? According to the Kenya National Civic Education Program, also known as uraia.or.ke, this is quite old, which I'll put the link in the description, our national values are patriotism, sharing and devolution of power, national unity, the rule of law, democracy and public participation, human dignity, equity, equality, social justice, inclusion, inclusiveness, human rights, non-discrimination of marginal people, good governance, integrity, transparency and accountability, accountability again, sustainable development. And if you ask me, which you are not, I don't think we are keeping that. Uh, By definition, national values are important and lasting beliefs, standards, ethics, and or or ideals shared by members of the same community, the same culture, the same society, same nation, or same country. The guiding principles for our leaders are integrity, impartiality, competence, accountability, free, fair, transparent, and credible elections, honesty, objectivity, avoidance of conflict of interest, discipline and commitment in service delivery. I think you have seen in this past week a total dereliction of services, a total dereliction of duties. Let us go back as citizens to the social contract that we wrote as Uraia and ask ourselves, are our leaders keeping their end of the bargain? Lastly, new normal. From the past and into the future, the only constant is change and the only normal 
is temperature. Have a good night. See you on the letter O tomorrow. <laughs> good night.